This is the fourth video on item types in OpenBridge Modeler. We'll look at the item type properties today. So if we go into the utilities, we can see item types here. And what we are looking at in the, um, this is uh, the OBM uh, open bridge modeler uh, by default metric work space um, and we we have already these item types in there in the OBM uh, by default metric type work space so what we are looking at is if we go inside here we can see these are the items and if we go inside there um, this is the library, this is the item, and we can see here, and these are the properties here. Uh, one thing we can have a look, and we can we notice that this is like sort of gray. Uh, so why is that? Why it is gray? But let's have a look. I'll do a quick test. I'll, if I do a test one, or something like that, test one, and then uh, just save it it makes black that's fine and then I can just add a whatever test to and you see here and then I add the properties so properties one so you can see um, this is the properties here but this is all um, you know like we, you can edit or whatever but here you can't like this is all already um, gray why is that the reason is uh, this is coming from uh, the workspace dg and live these workspace these um, item types is not set in this dgn file that's why we can't change here now if we need to change anything we need to change in the dgn lib but here this is in this in this uh, dgn lib in this dgn file so we can change in here okay so let's start um, with item types properties now if we go into like abutment and abutment cap or we can see all those are there item types width length height so let's have a look one so you see here this is um, properties definition so it could be number because what do we want as a number and then um, array I'll come back on to, on to that a little bit with a little bit detail uh, read only is you know like if you have a weight you don't want to give it as a number by yourself it should come up with the model and that's why it is it should be read only and that is why it is selected read only and then visibility is we want to see that that's why and then the units so unit we can select in there i'll go through in the detail in that in one on then we have another one let's say the material material is uh, obviously should be a text and uh, yes it is read only because we can select the material type from our list and the, from the uh, when we assign and that will come up here as a read only <clears throat> uh, we can see um, another one is volume volume is number as well and then you can show that one it's not an array and that has unique so let's have a quick look if we go in there I'll do again um, another one let's uh, I'll do a barrier one just giving and then just providing length um, and then this is the properties here actually I give this one as a 
I'm just giving some name here. So I'm going into detail now in the properties. Let's say barrier. I want the length. So I'm just showing as an because there are all examples are there. I'm just showing how it does work. So I can it it could be a length or whatever. It could be a text or number or integer or true false or date time or whatever point. And is is it an array? No, it's not an array, so it's false. But I'll come back on that how it does work. And then is read only? Um, yes, it's read only if it is length. But if I want something as a text uh, and I want to write, I say no, it's not a read only, it's false. And then visibility and default value is if I give a num number here, if I select number then it comes if there is any default value we want so we can say uh, default value we can put like a v value uh, like zero uh, and then unit what is the unit unit is it's up to us uh, let's say whatever is the working unit in there i want it as a distance or i want it as a area volume or angle or whatever is from there we can select as well so this way all this has been defined here so now we want to assign some properties um, let's say these are some properties that we want to assign um, so if I come into here and then we say asset library and then we give here asset and then we provide I'll add those name first here so asset as a property so asset ID So I have added those name. Now, what is the properties here? Asset ID. So yes, uh, let's say it would be uh, a text with some numbers or whatever. And then obviously not array. It's a, it could be a read only. Uh, it could be an array, but we'll go through that in later later on. So read only, false, and then visibility show. The same way asset name, text, installation date. It would be probably a, it would be date here, and then I just leave the format here, and then this way, and then supplier. It's a text as well. Engineer approved text. Last inspection date. It would be date. Next inspection date it would be date head contractor text um, and if those we are happy with we can say it is save as we can leave them now I want to assign so go into here um, so we are we are done that we saw so we go here and if we select those and then I just identify one element is this one actually select first go there and once this is selected I just accept because I have selected that one I just accept it once accepted now you see those is coming on if I select that it's in the properties it's added as we know that now asset ID let's say we have an asset ID so let's say asset ID number BA0011 and then asset name we just provide barrier and then the date and then the supplier whatever supplier engineer app to and 
and then head contractor So, yep. Okay. So, this is the properties we have given here. So, this way we can assign. Now, um, another thing is if we wanted to have something listed here and that we need to get from drop down list, if we can remember in, uh, in my previous video. Uh, one of my previous video one or two I think I showed how to get the pick list so you do the pick list and you just select from the drop down so you can get the drop down for the properties other thing remains is if we come here then what is array to explain array I'll give an example um, so let's say this is a traffic barrier where this is the precast concrete and this one is steel post it has a steel rail and also it could have probably um, some stitch pour around here somewhere um, concrete stitch pour and also sometimes we have you know like protection screen on the side of the traffic barrier attached with the traffic barrier or on the top of the traffic barrier we might have different items and different type things like it could be have it we could have some other in um, timber bridge or some other items we can have multiple different items so that we want to add we want to show in our um, in our item type list so if we um, then if we come here then how we can show that so what would I what I gonna do now first I'll create a list which is called items and inside that I'll create one called item and this will uh, I'll give some prop of course some properties inside and it will that will be I'll give item as as well okay and inside this uh, I'll show another thing here you you see in this one item this is the properties as we know if we just notice here text number integer that date time and point all these are here for this item right and this one we want as array so we'll select as true what we're gonna do and still we see there is all those things now what we're gonna do underneath the items will create another one but this would be new property type that won't be these things we want to create these so we say uh, we give as item library let's say so if it is this now and we add property definition we say just item now if we come into here so actually we have created item and item library inside the items so now if we come here in the item and in, in inside this properties item we see the drop down list and you can see the item library is here now so we select this one so what happens now actually now basically within this whatever is there that will come up as a list so let's save it now i want to attach i go there i want to attach I want to attach these items item here 
so I just see accept it once I accept you can see the item came up here but there is nothing so what I can do I right click here and then I add entry so I say add entry and you see the little arrow appeared now basically you need to write let's say precast concrete now if this is only one precast concrete then you can say precast concrete but you say no i have multiple other things so you add there the item second items probably you want is concrete stretch pole now this way you can add repeatedly the items in there and then you can add whatever let's say still post so and whatever you need you can still post and then you can add the same way still rail then you can add protection skin pre pre uh, precast transition barriers whatever is there so all those will be attached now it will be with that now one thing you could say uh, why I need to write and I want it as a drop-down list so um, I believe you remember the pick list so what you do you instead of writing there you can edit that one include in the pick list and that will add in the in and you can add that in your items so it will come up as drop down list so how can we do that let's say if we come here what we did in the item this is the items this is fine because this is just this and this facilitate the drop this one is the library what it comes up with so we need to so this is if we can source a pick list that has all the list that will go inside then we can do that so let's have a look so what we're gonna do I'm gonna do a pick list and I say um, item library and I give all those things precast concrete concrete stitch stitch pour so all these pick list I have added so done so now what we're gonna do we come here previously we have that one that I created previously which is fine in the item library I go there instead of this is everything I leave I come here I say okay my DGN files is that it come I come here item library I do this and then I save it and this one is no change because it is it is taking the item library which is this so what we gonna do um, I'll detach what I did previously so detach all so now let us attach again uh, the items
So have a look now. The items is now attached again. Now I do add entry. I come here, add entry. Item, you can see now there is coming as none. So, and it has the drop down list. So, I do precast concrete. I want another item. I do add entry. And you add your another one, which is concrete stitch pour. And you have another one, add entry. You do your steel rail and you do like this way you can have all of the things that you need and that's you are including in one element but it has consist of multiple different items so protection skins protection guard this way it is this way it is uh, the array has been used and done.